Today in Warframe, everyone, we are going over my Protea Prime on release build. As it is now officially announced, Protea Prime will be releasing in two weeks on, that's right, May 1st, everybody, which is, you know, two weeks Wednesday, essentially. So let's take a look, talk about Protea and how she does all of her sweet damage, her abilities, go over her build, and just take a look and kill some enemies, okay? And that's what we're gonna be doing today, and we're gonna be just murking them all. So if we quickly just spawn some enemies, spawned up like 20 butchers over here, just to explain Protea's abilities. Her first ability is either a triple slash uh, ball or a shield defensive ball. This makes it so A, you apply slash damage to enemies and B, you have invincibility with constant high tier shield gating because like look at the amount of shield you uh, gain through all that, you get a lot. So that'll be like a three second shield gate, gives you a lot of time to jump back and save yourself. So you don't actually need something like a rolling guard unless you like want to. Her second ability is a fire turret. Builds up damage, the longer it stays up, you can see the damage multiplier for each enemy it hits. And it absolutely just annihilates regular enemies. I will just let you know right now, I am just playing a character with literally zero mods on so that you can see how the abilities work. Her third one is simple. It's a ammo, health, energy, restore, uh, little function area. So yeah, it just gives you loot. You get energy and health from it, and that is about it. It's nice, it's just a little dispenser. That's what it's called, that's the word. So you can't really go wrong there. And all things considered, it's really good. You like your turret a lot though, and this is your main damage one, because you can see the amount of damage it builds up is incredibly high. So in order to get high turret damage, you need duration for the multiplier to build up and a little bit of strength. You can probably decrease range or decrease efficiency a little bit, but you do spam a lot with Protea, so maybe not the best idea. Her last ability is, oh boy, it's something. Let me show you. So her fourth ability is going back in time. You mark a spot right here on the map, right? When you hit your ability, I'm running around, I'll teleport back in time and all of my energy, everything will be restored to that point in time. And it does a little bit of like an AOE, I think if you get knocked down and it knocks down enemies and it's not a great ability. I don't like it, a lot of people don't like it. It just doesn't work that well. So most likely if you Helminth off an ability, it'll be your fourth ability. Replace it with anything you want. Nourish, Roar, Rhinos, Roar Right, Eclipse. You could do anything you so choose. So yeah, if anything, just replace that, okay? And let's get to my build quickly, because like I said, I was using a no mod build so that I could quickly show you the proper items. So dispensary, blaze artillery shot, right? Just seeing the stats here. And then you have grenade fan right here. I think I have a little bit of a buff. Yeah, duration and strength buff because my archon shards and that increases like implosion damage. But as you can see, it's not really amazing. It can kind of save your life, but it ends up usually not saving your life. So it sucks. I would throw on strength, Strength, duration, and then two casting speed. You could always throw on more casting speed, change anything however you want. You do a lot of fire damage, so I you could build around that more so. There's a lot of Archon shards out there now, so it's very good to use whatever you feel like. Now, my main build that I use for Protea, for my Protea Prime on release, will probably be this. Corrosive projection, just because why not, right? Decrease enemy armor, cool. I will use Power Drift for strength. You could also use the other ones for range if you want, right? If you're looking for more range on that, you could, yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah, you could go for like, there it is, Cunning Drift. You could go for your Repair Dispensary. You know, you have a couple of your Augment mods, either Repair Dispensary, it's not amazing, but you know, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend it. And then I'm using Eclipse, so hey, you could throw on Total Eclipse. Like I said, I'd replace your fourth with just a damage increase. I will probably end up replacing Eclipse though, again, with something like Nourish, because let's be honest, Eclipse got nerfed and it's no longer as high of damage. So Nourish, hey, Zataw's Whisper, That's I'm gonna go with one of those. And there, that's all there is there, so yeah, yeet yeet. I have Prime Continuity on, because duration is very important for Protea. I have Stretch, because you don't want very small range, because I put on Narrow Minded to increase my duration to get almost as much as possible. But yeah, you do not want a huge decrease to range, because on your turrets, as you can see, 
the range does decrease. So you don't wanna have too small of a range, but I don't think you need the biggest range for the turrets because they don't last that long, right? They last eight seconds, you quickly throw them down, they kill a group of enemies, and then they're gone. So you don't need the highest amount of range for this, but I understand if people want more range. So if you want more range, swap out narrow-minded, but I'm definitely a high damage duration type of uh, Protea build on that. So do what you will around there but that's just what I choose to use and I like it. I wouldn't throw on anything like overextended though because that'll just decrease your damage too much. I do have Archon Vitality, okay? Status effects from abilities that deal heat damage will be applied twice. Obviously that's OP with your turret, right? Double your heat, double the fun. I choose it and I like it. Destroys some good armor on the enemies with corrosive projection, weakens them a bit. Maybe not fully, because yeah, but you know, that's okay. I have streamlined because efficiency, like I said, still good. You might not need it, but uh, depending on how you play, how much you spam and everything like that, I like to have it. I almost never run out of energy, and that's kind of how I prefer to play Brodia, so you might want to swap out streamline though. You could give yourself more range if you want, something like that, but hey. Quick thinking is more so just when I fuck up and I don't end up uh, shielding myself in time. This one is, yeah, it's just like a fail safe. That's about it. You don't need it by like any means. You could throw on other things like prime sure-footed, lol. But like, yeah, I just have quick thinking on for now. And that's just so that I don't really die at all. But hell, you could throw on anything else if you want. And if you're bored, just yeet on like Mars Hatred for some more strength. <laughs> no, but I like quick thinking just so that I don't die sometimes. Umbral Intensify just because I need that sweet, sweet higher amount of strength. And then Prime Flow because I want even more energy. Molt Augmented for more strength because I'm boring and I throw this on every single Warframe because I'm boring and I don't care. And then Arcane Energize because I'm boring and I throw this on every other Warframe because I hate having energy issues and I don't care. So yeah, you could throw on any number of Arcanes. Is there anything for heat, right? Nah, nothing really good for a Warframe. But there's a lot of general stuff if you want to look around. I just uh, just don't think you need a lot of the defensive ones. I just like to do the damage and the energy ones like a uh, boring, boring Warframe player. So let me know if you choose any other different general arcanes, but that's usually what I like to go with. Okay, let's go take Protea to like a proper quick exterminate. Yeah, we'll do a quick like steel path exterminate so you can understand how she plays which is really good. Okay, she's strong, so she plays really well. And then uh, you should be good to go, okay? That's my general build, though, on release. Oh, perfect, an exterminate. So I think Protea Prime should still kick ass. I know I saw a couple of people being like, can they, can they increase her ability durations or increase her stats? I don't think they'll do any of that, chat, sorry to say. Generally, when a Warframe Prime releases, they will only increase her stats around, his or her stats around, like movement, energy, health, right, armor. So this is how you just use Protea. Your shield, or sorry, your turret goes out, kills everyone. You still have weapons, obviously. Like, you're still killing it, so you're having no problem. You just have to make sure you throw down your shields, and then you never die. The annoying thing about exterminates, right, is your dispensary is obviously going to be less useful because, that's right, because you're moving around, but that's okay. You can still throw out your other stuff and quickly kill them. Your turrets, as you can see, they are really good for quickly clearing rooms in Steel Path because they don't, like I said, they don't need a ton of range. 30 range default, much like with Dante, is a lot of range. So, a little bit of decreased range to like 23 meters is fine. They also work well clearing up the stragglers back there. I wanna see if it actually clears that because it is an Exodus unit. You know, they're pretty tanky, all things considered. And if it hits the shield like a goober. Okay, right, like the status effects going over. See, oh, if I got hit more, maybe quick thinking would have been nice there. But a lot of your brunt of the damage will be your turret. If you're staying in one room, you'll throw down more of your spiky balls, of course. But I just don't think it's really necessary when you're clearing in a exterminate-styled mission. You can also shove your turrets through walls. A Right? So then you do that. And by the time your teammate comes here, sometimes they're all dead. You can have three turrets up at a time without them deleting each other, but remember, they will delete each other, and then that'll mean that your like huge bonus buff is gone. So yeah, no more than three up at once, remember that, because they just delete the latest one. 
So if you have a high duration, you don't even need eight seconds, but I love to have the highest duration on Protea. But it's just important to keep that in mind and micromanage your turrets around that so that you don't uh, lose any sort of extra damage. And then your heat off your turret really builds well if you're using viral, if you're using any sort of condition overload, obviously. If you're doing any sort of just damage with status, it helps, it primes, and it does good damage overall. Reduces armor a bit, right? Heat's a nice status like that. Heat, toxin, viral, corrosive, radiation. Those are my favorite statuses. Maybe radiation's on the lower end compared to the other ones, but you know. I'd say those are the MVP statuses in Warframe these days. Maybe always days. But yeah, builds up a lot of damage. Prody is a chill Warframe. I don't know how easy she would be to casually get to like the level 9999. I think somewhat easily, because all you have to do is stay on top of reshielding yourself and having your shield balls down. Oh, it throws four uh, shield balls, three non. Yeah, okay. Four shield, three offensive balls, it looks like. I actually didn't even notice the uh, difference in like the longest of times. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Still absolutely killing it with Protea. Like, look at that. You just run around. And you're good to go, essentially. You can throw it back and throw it forward so that the people with big shields can just kind of deal with that. And you still have, like, one more shield spot. You just always have to make sure you do not lose all of your shield and, you know, don't heal yourself back up. Cheers, Parvos. Either way, that's the best. The one and only Protea, Protea Prime build for when she releases, so... Yeah, let me know what you think. Sub like, use Epic Games creator code Pupsker, and check out all the socials in the description. Thank you, thank you. Cheers, cheers.